A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and today I'm going to show you how to make an automatic picture gallery. Now I've done a couple of uh, videos before which are on automatic picture galleries but this is a little different. This will use the tween class. So let's get started guys. The first thing that I need to do is I need to change the color of the stage to black and uh, I will also need to change the size because the pictures that I'm importing in are 800 by 600 pixels. So it will be 800 by 600 rather uh, since the size of the pictures are 800 by 600 let me keep the stage a little bigger so 850 by 650 that should do all right then I'll say um, show frame right let me get in these uh, three pictures in question now on layer one the only layer so I'll say file I'll say import import a stage and uh, I'll locate the pictures now. They are on the desktop inside a folder called uh, images. I'll catch hold of the first picture, I'll select it and then click on open. Very interestingly and intelligently Flash uh, CS 5.5 says the file appears to be a part of sequence of images. That's because the images have been named IMG 1, 2 and 3. Do you want to import all of the images in the sequence? I'll say yes. Guys, if you notice, uh, not only do these three pictures get imported onto the stage, but they get themselves centrally aligned automatically as well. That's wonderful. The next thing that I wish to do is I need to convert all three of them into movie clips. So I'll select the first picture. I'll say F8, keeping the registration point top left. I'll say OK. And I'll give it a name IMG1 underscore MC. Likewise, the second one as well f8 registration point top left name img2 underscore mc <coughs> and uh, with the third picture as well so f8 top left registration point img3 underscore mc now that i've converted all the three pictures uh, into movie clips I sh I'm good to go now and attach some action script. So I'll create yet another layer and I'll call it AS3 for action script 3. Alright. And on the very first frame, I'm going to put in some action script. Okay. Now inside the actions panel, let me start uh, creating some uh, script. The first thing that I wish to do is I need to create a timer function. So variable my timer of the type timer space equals space new timer. The reason why I wish to create a timer is because after every four or five seconds I would, would want that my playhead should go to the next frame. And uh, now I need to give the time delay, the delay in numbers and the repeat count. Uh, I would want the delay to be let's say 4000 milliseconds that's four seconds guys and I would want the repeat count of the number of times the timer will fire off to be three because I'm using three pictures and three frames we have just three frames in question here also um, I need to say a stop function here stop parent parent semicolon because otherwise the playhead would not read the action script straight away go on to the next frame okay let me complete the timer function. Uh, line number 5 instantiates the timer which is creates a new instance of the timer. I also need to start the timer. Uh, the way you do that is my timer dot start parenthesis parenthesis semicolon. That will start the timer. Okay. So the instance of the timer has been created the timer has been started I also need to add an event listener to the timer which will listen to these four seconds and once it listens to these four seconds it will perform a function let's uh, get on with it so I'll say my timer dot add event listener timer event dot timer and the name of the function I'll call it timer handler so once the timer listens to these four seconds it will perform the function timer handler. Let me create this function timer handler. Event colon timer 
event colon void two curly braces opening and closing and in between these curly braces I need to write the function the first thing that I would want to do is I would want to the play had to go to the next frame and stop guys okay next I would want to put an if conditional here which says if if current my timer dot current count now what is current count guys the current count means the number of timer uh, number of times the timer has been ticked already the first cycle is current count one the second cycle is current count three and we ha in all have just three and all have just three repeat counts so the third and the final current count would be three so if my timer dot current count is equal to is equal to three then I need to perform something and which is I need to stop the timer that's the first thing my timer dot stop parenthesis parenthesis semicolon and uh, the next thing is I would want since my timer dot current count is equal to three will happen when the playhead is on the third in the last frame in which case I would want my timer to stop and also the play had to reset itself back to the first frame so go to and play one play one wonderful so after every four seconds I would want my play had to advance to the next frame on the third frame should come back so it, it'll loop that's wonderful now that I've written the Tama function I need to attach the tween to these three pictures how do I do that I need to first contain the tween in a variable <coughs> guys I'm assuming that you already know the tween class if you do not maybe you may or may not understand what I'm uh, doing here so I'm assuming that you know a little bit about the tween class tweeting through action script so variable my tween which is going to contain the tween of the type tween uh, space equals space new tween so guys basically what I'm I'm doing is I'm instantiating tween and then uh, I need to pass in uh, the parameters guys so the first parameter that I need to pass in is the object name which is the name of the movie clip and uh, it is IMG three underscore MC comma uh, the next thing that I need to pass on is uh, the property that I want to tween and the property that I wish to tween is the X property guys so I want to tween the object along the X axis next I need to pass the easing so I would want the easing to be strong dot ease out that'll be strong dot ease out next I would want to pass in the coordinates so starting 550 that's outside the stage and I want, would want the picture to come to the X coordinate 25 and stop so the picture will start outside the stage and come inside the stage right now guys if you notice the left top corner is 25 well roughly that's okay so minus 550 X is outside the stage so the picture will start outside the stage it'll fly in and stop at X 25 which is the present coordinate it really doesn't matter where the picture is right now guys when you use the tween class the current position of the picture does not really matter and uh, then I need to give the time duration I would want the tween to happen over the next two seconds so I need to put a true there when you say true it means uh, you are using seconds if I say false here this value is then understood to be frames for simplicity's sake I would keep it at true so this two then means uh, the time period over which the tween should happen alright so before I actually uh, go ahead I 
will test the movie now which is always a good idea in flash please test the movie every now and then I'll say a control and an enter oh there's some problem here what went wrong alright guys um, I had to pause the video and try to understand uh, where the script had gone wrong actually what I needed to do was I needed to import fl the transitions dot easing as well so here it is in line number five import fl dot transitions dot easing dot asterisk so I need to import all, all the easings as well because I'm using a strong type of ease out here okay so let's test the movie now okay so this is the first picture and it's uh, not tweening actually so there's some other fault as well so variable monitoring the type tween we have the x property strong dot ease out uh, it's not uh, tweening properly mm. okay this is supposed to be IMG1 let's test it again beautifully the first picture comes in the second picture and the third picture have not been tweened yet so it's all good now and uh, now the first picture should tween and come in once again all very good wonderful okay now guys all that I need to do is I need to take this uh, 23rd line where we have the variable my tween of the type tween which contains the tween and attach it to the other two pictures as well so I would go on to the AS3 layer the second frame I'll say F7 out there that's a blank frame and I'll put the, cop the, the, the script that I just copied from the earlier frame and paste it onto the second frame I need to make certain changes here now I need to attach the action script to image 2 that's the first change I have to change the name of the variable so that will be my tween 1 now alright very good now I would do the same with the third picture and the third frame as well I pressed F7 once again to convert the frame to a blank frame and uh, copy paste the script once again this time the variable instead of being uh, my tween uh, 1 be my tween 2 the name of the picture will change once again so it will be IMG2 rather IMG3 and uh, rest everything remains the same guys so if uh, everything has been taken care of properly if I test the movie now it should be good to go 1 2 and 3 fingers crossed the first picture tweening in beautifully the second picture and here comes the third picture should loop back to the very first picture which it does and uh, the second picture let me show you a full screen preview and uh, this is the third picture so all very good guys uh, let me go inside the actions uh, panel frame number one and explain the script once again quickly guys I had set the timer at 4000 millisecond and if you notice the tween at two seconds the reason is I would want um, the viewer to look at the picture for two seconds after it completes the tween so two seconds of complete no motion after two seconds of uh, tween motion that was the reason I kept the timer to four seconds so guys I hope you like this tutorial you would implement it and um, come out trumps I'll see you next time with yet another flash of dream viewer tutorial bye bye